all right what's going on guys it's your boy zilchi and welcome back to another solo leveling arise video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the new unit that just came out gina she literally came out like 22 minutes ago i used whatever stones that i had left or tickets that i had left to go ahead and showcase well not showcase and summon for her and we managed to pull her fairly quickly in our first, well we hit pity so I got her from Pity, but after that, we didn't get her from any other tickets because I didn't summon for her anymore. I think I'm just going to stop right here. I think this is a unit that I, cause listen, Thomas Andre is right around the corner. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm not spending anything. Everything that I have is going to go into him. So for now, this is what we have. This is what we're using. Uh, she's like just one star for me or not even one star, just straight up. This is what she has. As you can see, there's no stars in it. So I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna do any gameplay video for her. We're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna read her kit. We're gonna talk about which artifacts you want to use for her. We're gonna take a look at her weapon and see which units she's buffing and stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't know how long this one is gonna be, but I have a lot of other videos that I do want to upload tomorrow. For example, the new workshop of Brilliant Light. We will be taking a look at that. I'm very interested to see how things work out and be honest with you. Very, very, very interested. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at Gina. Again, if you guys are new to the channel and want more solo leveling or rise content, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. Almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is a very big deal for me. And let's just hop straight into it. All right, so here we are over at her passive details. We're going to go ahead and read it. When the user uses Force Descent, Gravitational Mass, or Path of Extinction, it activates the countercurrent effect. When the maximum number of countercurrent effect in instances is reached, the mana circulation effect is applied to all team members. After creating a gravitational field effect, the body retrograde effect is applied to all team. So this is what it does here. So the countercurrent duration is infinite, stacks up to five times. Mana circulation increases attack by 15%, increases fire damage by 15%. Uh, when this effect activated, removes the counter current effect duration 15 seconds. Body retrograde HP equal to 2% of Gina's attack is restored to all team members every 3 seconds. All team members' power gauges are charged by 2% every 3 seconds. Let me take a look at Maylin real quick. Hold on a second, guys. She actually might be pretty good when it comes to the buff that she's giving here. That's a 15% buff, right? And I don't think it's only to just fire. So yeah, it's a 15% just attack overall. Cause, and Malin only gives 8% plus the defense as well, right? That's a big one right here. This is actually a big one. It might be really big uh, support for Janu and just anyone in general, to be honest. The fire damage as well is very nice. Uh, at one star, when the mana circulation effect activates, it activates the mana transformation effect to all team members. So grant a shield equal to 12% of the attack, increases damage dealt. So at one star, yeah, keep in mind we have the 15% buff as well. And at one star, you're getting that extra 12% damage dealt. So you get that attack buff. Now you're also getting a, a damage dealt buff as well. You're also getting the decreased damage taken by 12%, which is also really nice. Uh, duration is 20 seconds. Uh, two star increases the value of the shield effect applied to all team members by 20%. When a shield is granted to all to a team member, that team member's damage dealt increases by 10%. Okay. Okay. She actually is really good. I'm going to be honest with you. She is really good from what I'm reading so far. Uh, when the user uses gravitational mass, it creates a gravitational field effect. A gra gravity boost effect is applied to targets hit by gravitational mass. Damage equal to 20% of gravitational mass damage uh, activates the halt effect on enemies that touch the affected area, interrupts the target. Duration is three seconds. Uh, gravity boost increases the target's fire damage taken by 10%. So she's actually really big for the fire team. I'm going to be honest with you. This girl, Yu Su Hyun, is going to be absolutely incredible with her as a support. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this guy still needs some work <laughs> he just still needs some work i'm gonna be honest he's just not there right now he's just not there unfortunately uh so at four star increases all team members defense penetration by four percent so she is just genuinely meant for yusu hyun here because yusu hyun is a defense penetration type of unit right 
Uh, five star when a gravitational field is created, it activates a space time gap effect. Space time gap increases the damage of path of extension by 60%, increases the damage of path of extension by 60% to targets with gravity boost effect applied. After the user uses path of extinction, it consumes instances of the space time gap effect. And the duration for this is 10 seconds. So it looks like she's going to be really good. Again, I'm not going to go past this one copy that I have, though. However, if you do plan to, if you are a whale and you plan to get this, obviously you're going to want to go to five star. But if you end up getting lucky to get her to, looks like maybe two star might be the stopping point here for her. From what I've read so far, I'm going to have to use her myself. Uh, but I currently don't have like the right artifact set up. So we're going to do that for another video. But for now, it looks like two stars where you're going to be wanting to stop. The other ones are good as well, obviously. But I think at two star, you can stop right there. Very good. Very good unit here. Very good buff. Definitely needed for the fire team. Now we can just take a look at her skills, right? So I want to do the preview for them. Let's do a preview. So that's what she does. So instead of also doing like actual fights, right? Because we know she's not a damage unit. She's just a buff unit or a support unit. So we can see these. So we got this. That's that. And we have this as well. So these are the basic attacks. Oh, nice. This one looks like one you can hold down. What is that? that what is that? That's crazy. I've, we're going to see that again. We're actually going to see that again. What was that? That was wild. I did not expect that second one to pull up like that. I think it's huge. Right, that's nice. That thing is huge right there, though. Okay. What's this? Okay. Oh, this is the ult right here. Very nice. Very nice. Honestly, I should be... Oh, that, oh that, that's the thing that stays. Okay. All right. So let's let's read this. So it looks like she's a damage based unit, right? Well, an attack based unit. She scales off attack. Uh, this one is the core the core attack right here. Deals eight hundred and eighteen percent of the user's attack. When the final hit lands, it knocks down the target. Obviously, this one is the gravitational mass. This was inside of her passive, right? We get, I think, a four star. We get that extra buff to that. Damage 14, 15 percent of the user's attack. Cooldown is fifteen seconds. Deals fire elemental damage when this skill hits, it inflicts the airborne effect. This one, Path of Extinction, which we also did see. Uh, damage 22-51% of the user's attack, cooldown is 15 seconds, and peak consumption is 300. Deals fire elemental damage, a beam fires continuously while the skill button is held down. The counter current effect stays active while the user uses this skill, stacking up to four times. Very strong right here. This one looks like... I will be having to level up all the way, but I don't have enough of these, unfortunately. Uh, let's take a look at the alt. 3190% of the user's attack. Fire damage dealt, airborne. When the user uses this skill, it creates a gravitational field. Damage equal to 20% of liberation's damage. Activates the halt effect, so it does stop the uh, opponent in place, which is very, very, very nice. She's, she looks like a unit that could just come in clutch. She looks really good, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. She does look really good. Um, if Thomas Andre wasn't coming soon, I'm going to be honest with you, she might be a unit that you want to get 5-star because her support, it looks like it's, it's actually really nice. Really nice here. So now we can go ahead and take a look at the best artifacts. So what it says here, recommended stacks is attack, MP, and defense pen. So there's two things you could do, right? You can go for the full curse set for her, right, with um, attack stats. Right, and ones that give MP, or you can go ahead and do the blessing set, uh, and give her ones that have attack sets. That's what I meant. You could do curse set, just for the attack, and then you have um the blessing set, with attack stats and MP stats, because she is a support unit after all, right? So you want to build her, to support, right? You can also use other artifacts. Uh, can I filter it out here? Can I filter it out? You can probably use the one-hit kill. I'm going to be honest with you, because you can get that alt to do the, uh, the, the field that halts them. The one-hit kill wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad for her either. You could use the Noble Sacrifice. Uh, Angel in White probably is going to be the best one, I think. Let's take a look at Angel in the White real quick. What does that say? Uh, increase the user's healing. Give it, no, I lied to you. 
I lied to you guys. Angel in white is not the way to go, but you can use the other ones that give support. So those are the ones you want to be. I think the main two would be the curse set or the blessing set. And then the other ones you can use the um, one hit kill or the outstanding connection one. So when you swap out of here, you get the extra buff as well. So very, very interesting unit. Very good unit as a support. I'm actually glad the fire team did get the support here because they definitely do need it. I'm not going to lie. They 100% do need it. Because the only DPS really right now for the fire team that's actually decent is Yu Su Hyun. Choi, Choi is just not that good anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. They need to buff him or do something with him. But other than that, uh, Emma is not a DPS unit. She's still very good on her own right side. Her break and uh, stuff that she gives is very, very good. And the debuffs and stuff, very good. But I think this unit right here is going to make that fire team just a lot better. All right, so there you have it. That is going to be the video for today. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that like button. I know it's a little different than what I usually do. But I, guys, I'm be so honest with you. I'm actually really tired right now. So this might be the only video out for now. But later, we're going to come back and we're going to do a lot more. Because there's a lot more that I want to cover. Like, we have the new core stuff that I don't have anything of. And it looks like you do get that from the new uh, Workshop of Brilliant Light here. So you can switch between the two, which is very nice. Very nice. So in order to unlock these, you have to do that. Normal, I'm probably not going to have any issues with them, to be honest with you. I'm probably not going to have any issues with But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.